MMA is fast becoming one of the most popular sports in the world, with promotions like Bellator, UFC, and 1FC throwing around the big bucks to attract the world's best prize fighters, the sport has minted quite a few new millionaires since the turn of the century, some of whom are household names. Stay with us as we're going to be ranking the richest MMA stars in the world today. In at number 10, we have Randy Couture. Ex-heavyweight champion Randy Couture was one of the sport's first true superstars, the first man in the UFC to win titles in two different divisions at separate times. Couture went 19 and 11 throughout his career, and along with the Gracie family and other stars such as Chuck Liddell, he stands out as a pioneer of the sport. Currently worth around $17 million, Couture started his career in the U.S. Army in the 1980s in the 101st Airborne. On leaving the Army, he took part in UFC 13. On just three Three weeks notice, fighting and winning twice in one night. Can you imagine that these days? Since retirement, Couture has forged a decent living as an actor and also entered the International Sports Hall of Fame back in 2012. His son Ryan is also a mixed martial artist who has appeared in both the UFC and Bellator. At number 9, we're talking about Brazilian legend Wanderly Silva. Throughout his career, Silva was known for his brutal variety of Muay Thai, once being described as feral. A veteran of more than 50 fights, he is known for wars against the likes of K.L. Sonnet, Quentin Rampage Jackson, Chuck Liddell, and Vitor Belfort. Also a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, as well as his high ranking in Muay Thai, Silva, the ex-Pride middleweight champion, retired back in 2018 at the age of 42. Since retirement, he's opened up his own fight organization organization, Wand Fight Team, and MMAFighting.com's 2004 Light Heavyweight Fighter of the Year is worth around $18 million. We bet he didn't think he would be sitting on that kind of cash when he started his career in a little-known sport in the mid-90s. Fedor Emelianenko joins us at 8. Stay tuned. Russian legend and many people's top heavyweight of all time, Emelianenko currently turns out for Bellator and is still doing the business at 45 years old. Having only been beaten twice in his past 11 fights, the Russian currently holds a 46-1 NC record, which in the heavyweight division is pretty incredible. The former Russian national Sambo champion operates a no-nonsense style and boasts 16 knockouts throughout his career. One of the biggest draws in MMA, Emelianenko currently commands around $2 million per fight and is worth around $18 million, which is a pretty decent sum for one night's work, right? But having never fought in the UFC, this is enough for some people to write him off. A prime Fedor would surely be more than a match for current UFC champ Francis Ngannou. Who do you guys think is the best heavyweight ever? Let us know below. In at number 7, we have another legendary Brazilian, Anderson Silva. During his heyday in the 2000s and 2010s, Anderson Silva was easily the best mixed martial artist on the planet. There was a period during this time where he was went on a 17-fight win streak, something which is largely unheard of in MMA. Unless you're Alexander Volknovsky, an expert striker and third-degree black belt in jiu-jitsu, he has taken out some of this sport's heaviest hitters. Currently 46 years old, Silva still hasn't announced his retirement, but with five losses in his last six fights, it doesn't seem as though it will be too far away. With a reported $18 million in the bank, Silva has nothing left to prove and ensures a place on many people's all-time greatest lists a long time ago. What was your favorite Silva performance? We're going for his unanimous decision over the terrifying Lee Murray, but there are a ton to choose from. BJ Penn joins at number 6 on today's list. Baby J, or DJ Penn as he was born, was a sensation in the lightweight and welterweight divisions during his heyday. He also won gold in both divisions and was huge for the promotion when it was just finding its feet back in the early 2000s. It really is testament to the man who was lightweight champion at one point that he also fought and won at light heavyweight against legendary fighter Renzo Gracie too. However, he has caught a bit of heat in some quarters for fighting past his prime, losing his final seven professional fights all in the UFC. Since retiring, Penn, who is worth a reported $22 million, has announced his intention to run for governor 
governor of his native Hawaii, partly due to local dissent at the government's handling of the COVID pandemic. What was Penn's best performance in his career? At five, it's Brock Lesnar. Stay with us. Many younger people will recognize Lesnar as a star of professional wrestling outfit, WWE, but he was once the baddest man on the planet. He won the UFC's heavyweight title by knocking out Randy Couture back in 2008, but left the promotion after back-to-back -back losses to Cain Velasquez and Alistair Overeem in 2010 and 11 to pursue a lucrative deal with pro wrestling's top outfit. Worth around $28 million today, Lesnar is regularly linked with the return of the UFC. Having dipped his toe back in a UFC 200, which ended in a no contest against Mark Hunt, Lesnar has had his fair share of troubles over the years, from addiction issues to run-ins with the law, but his successful career in both MMA and pro wrestling mean he is safely on today's list. Are you a WWE fan? Who's your favorite all-time wrestler? Many People's GOAT joins us next. It's GSP at number four. George St. Pierre is a rare breed. One of those types of people who does insane full body workouts just for fun. He has only ever suffered defeat twice in his career, once against Matt Serra, which he quickly avenged, and the other against Matt Hughes, which he also avenged a while later. With a professional record of 26-2, GSP really was a phenomenon. He's a black belt in a ton of martial arts, and in 2017, after a four-year layoff, he came back to take Michael Bisping's middleweight title. Just to show he could, before retiring again shortly afterwards. It really is a shame the 40-year-old has only fought once in the past nine years, but with $30 million in the bank, he doesn't really need to put himself in harm's way anymore, right? Would you like to see GSP back in the UFC? Number three is the Eagle, Khabib. Stick around. As goats go, Khabib Nurmagomedov is probably at the very top of our list. The Dagestani native has gone through his entire career unbeaten and has since retired at 29 and 0. Worth a reported $30 million, Khabib had a two year layoff in the middle of his career due to recurring injuries, but it didn't hamper him one bit. Known for his animalistic ground and pound, the Russian has beaten all comers and famously tapped Conor McGregor before jumping out of the ring and attacking the Irishman's team. It remains to be seen whether he is actually fully retired, and there have been murmurings of a super fight between himself and GSP, who we mentioned above. Who do you think would win if these two were to face off? We think it would be super close. But we don't see Khabib dominating Georges on the ground like he's famous for. Second spot goes to Rorian Gracie. Part of the world-famous jiu-jitsu pioneering Gracie family, Rorian is worth an estimated $50 $50 million. One of the very few people in the world to hold a ninth degree Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, Gracie is possibly the best BJJ fighter in history, along with other notable family members, Rickson and Royce. Gracie made a career out of proving Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is the most effective martial art, something which is now universally accepted, and there are schools in every big city and many smaller ones around the world. Gracie Jiu Jitsu, the world famous school started by Rory is now globally famous and is where Helio Gracie's son made his millions. Are you a BJJ practitioner? Let us know your favorite submission move below. And taking top spot today is none other than Conor McGregor. McGregor, who is world famous as much these days for his controversies as he is for his skills in the octagon, is far and away the richest MMA athlete today. Worth a reported $110 million, the Irishman lit up the UFC in the mid-2010s becoming the first fighter to hold two belts at the same time, after beating both Jose Aldo and Eddie Alvarez to take their featherweight and lightweight titles. His gift of gab has largely gotten him to where he is financially, and he has raked it in, not only from the UFC, but a lucrative boxing match against Floyd Mayweather and numerous endorsement deals have meant he will never want for anything again. Good for you, Connor. As always, thanks for tuning in today, and remember to stop by next time for some more fun and games. Also, why not share this video with any MMA heads you know of? Bye guys!